Hi there, we are watching Simply Vegetarian from Anjita's Kitchen Corner and I want to show you how I have been working on croissants or rather croissant dough. This is an easy way around but I thought to myself if you want an authentic classic bakery style fluffy puffy buttery croissants then I must choose the challenging one. So in that case this is not a tutorial video but I promise you will definitely learn something with me. Let's get along the dough. Beginning with a liquid, 100 grams warm full fat milk along with water, 67 grams. Then as for the dry ingredients, 300 grams alpopose flour or maida with 11.8% protein content which as per the stats is best for a pastry dough. Salt around 1 4th teaspoon and sugar 33 grams. Here I use this one instant dry yeast 3.5 grams. Mixed to combine and added liquid mixture to form a dough. Kneaded roughly for 3 minutes until all came together. Then one more ingredient, cold butter, 33 grams. This will help develop the texture. Then I kneaded straight for 15 minutes. Far convenient if you got a stand mixer. Thereafter, the dough looked smooth and supple enough. Then I covered and let the dough rest for at least an hour. In between, I prepared the butter blocks. This is chilled butter. Total 170 grams which I divided into two parts, 85 grams each and you must be wondering why. The fact is my kitchen counter is way too small to freely roll out the croissant dough and so I'm dividing the butter as well as the dough. Now the butter I used here is this unsalted amul butter with 82% fat as these type of recipes call for 82-84% to fat content. Then I give this butter a square shape while beating lightly with a rolling pin. Having done with both, I kept them in the freezer to chill. After one hour, the dough was risen, doubled in size. I used this cling flame to wrap the dough separately. Then I rolled the dough, giving them a square shape. Having done both with almost the same size and thickness, I let them chill in the fridge for again one hour. Then it was time to lock the butter, first fold and laminate. Both the butter and the dough slabs were equally firm and cold. Then sprinkled some flour and started rolling out lengthwise. Place the butter at the center and lock from both sides. Now working without the scale, the width rolled out longer and had to be trimmed but that was adjustable at the center. By this time the butter was getting warm and I used the same baking paper to wrap the dough and place it in the fridge to chill again. Then I prepared the second one as well and I continued with the first double fold or the book fold. Then chill the dough followed by the second simple and final turn. Now time to share a few of my experiences on preparing croissants following this kind of classic authentic method. If you are trying for the first time, I would say this isn't easy. That is if you are looking for a fully puffed up light with a flaky and crisp texture like the ones you get in the bakery, you will have to try multiple times like me for that perfection. This one's my fourth time and still not perfect. Yeah. So beginning in small batches, I found more manageable, easier with near perfect results. Also the room temperature plays a crucial role while working with pastry doughs. It has to be cold if not chilled. Okay, having chilled the laminated dough in the fridge for the second time, I rolled that out into a rectangular shape, wrapped up again and kept in the fridge overnight to slightly improve the flavor. The next day, I rolled the pastry a bit, cut, shaped, proofed and baked. That wasn't easy either cause my room temperature was 26 to 27 degrees celsius even in the month of January. For the first roll out dough, I cut these right angle triangles for plain mini croissants. Then having shaped, I placed them on the baking tray reusing the same parchment paper and the same plastic wrap to loosely cover the croissants. I kept them in the fridge again to cool for about 30 minutes then transferred into the warm oven proof which is also an important step while making croissants for around one hour. I even placed warm water underneath in a square baking tin. Meanwhile I prepared four stuffed rolls 
out of the second laminated pastry. As it's clearly visible here, this pastry is slightly puffed up in few places. This could happen if the rolled out dough isn't tightly wrapped before letting rest in the fridge for long hours. The solution is to pierce with anything pointed and let the gas out. Then I roll this out and divide it into four equal rectangles instead of triangles, covered and let chill in the fridge for small batches easily get warmed up. So these questions have been in the oven for an hour, seems nicely proofed and yes, proofing makes them light and jiggly due to all the gases trapped inside. Then I carefully brush them with thick cream and in between I preheated the oven for 10 minutes. That was time to bake for 20 minutes as per my oven. Having baked, place them on the rack to cool. Now let's rate my eggless mini croissants. The crust is slightly golden with the more paler looks. Maybe that was due to not egg washed, but no doubt the outer texture was crisp and flaky with a wholesome buttery flavor that just melts in your mouth. Also, I'm still not satisfied with the layers inside, which basically should have a honeycomb effect. Well, I said it's not easy for that perfect bakery look. It requires multiple trials. How do you like that flakiness? soft inside but crisps outside. Now I'll quickly show you what I did with the other four rectangular pastries. I stuffed and rolled them out with different flavors or variants like paneer or cottage cheese, cheddar cheese, chocolate and orange marmalade. But as you can see these look rather flat because they were underproofed. I didn't give enough time to proof them in the oven because uh, I was in a hurry to finish off this two-day lengthy shooting process. And not to mention editing took more than three days. <laughs> Facts apart, I bet cheese was the best. One day I'll definitely make a video on some of these variants. So, time to bid goodbye until my next video.